OpenAI just dropped something that's going to change everything. I'm talking about real apps running inside ChatGPT. No extensions, no links, full working apps. And 800 million people are about to get access to this. If you're not paying attention right now, you're going to miss the biggest opportunity since the App Store launched. Today, I'm going to break down exactly what this means, how it works, and how you can use this to make money. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this before. Oh, and by the way, I'm Joseph. This is my AI avatar talking to you right now. Pretty cool, right? Everything you're hearing is generated by AI, but the knowledge and testing behind it is 100% real. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here's what happened. October 6th, Sam Altman takes the stage at Dev Day. That's OpenAI's big developer event, and he announces something massive. ChatGPT now has apps, real apps, running inside the chat. Now, when I first heard this, I thought it was just going to be like plugins, you know, those things nobody really used. But this is completely different. These apps are actually running inside your ChatGPT conversation. You don't click links. You don't open new tabs. You don't download anything. The app just appears right there in the chat. Let me give you an example. You're chatting with ChatGPT about music. You say, Spotify, make a playlist for my party Friday. Boom. Spotify opens right there in the chat, not a link to Spotify, the actual Spotify app. And here's the crazy part. It knows what you've been talking about. If you were just discussing 90s hip hop, your playlist will be 90s hip hop. It uses the context from your entire conversation. This is wild because right now, if you want to use multiple apps, you have to switch between tabs. You lose context. You have to explain everything again. But with this, everything happens in one place one conversation, and the AI remembers everything. Here's another example. Let's say you're planning a trip. You're talking with ChatGPT about places to visit. ChatGPT might say, want me to check Expedia for flights? You say yes, and Expedia pops up right there with real flight prices, real booking options, everything. You can book the whole trip without ever leaving ChatGPT. Same thing with Zillow for finding houses, Canva for making designs, Coursera for taking classes. All of it happens in the chat. No switching apps, no losing your train of thought, everything flows. Now, before I go further, let me tell you why this matters so much. ChatGPT has 800 million weekly users, not total users, weekly users. That means 800 million people are using ChatGPT every single week. That's bigger than the population of most countries. And now every single one of those users can access apps directly in their chats. Think about what that means. If you build an app for ChatGPT, you instantly have access to 800 million potential users. No marketing budget needed. No trying to get people to download your app. They're already there. They're already using ChatGPT. And if your app shows up in their conversation at the right moment, they'll use it. This is bigger than the App Store launch. This is bigger than plugins. This is a whole new platform being born right in front of us. Okay, so here's where it gets really interesting. OpenAI released something called the Apps SDK. SDK means Software Development Kit. Basically, it's the tools developers need to build these apps. And they made it open source. That means any developer can build apps for ChatGPT. Not just big companies, anyone. Right now, we only have seven partner apps. Spotify, Canva, Zillow, Expedia, Booking.com, Coursera, and Figma. These are the launch partners, but later this year, OpenAI is opening submissions. Any developer can submit their app, and if it passes review, it goes live for 800 million users. That's insane. That's like the App Store launch all over again, but for AI. And the early movers are going to win big, because right now there's no competition. If you build a good app in the next few months, you could be one of the first apps people discover, and that's a massive advantage. Now, let me break down what this means for businesses. Because if you own a business, you need to pay attention. This changes how people discover services. Think about it. Right now, people find apps by searching in the App Store, or they see ads, or someone tells them about it. But with ChatGPT apps, discovery is different. People find apps in conversation. Let's say someone asks ChatGPT, how do I learn Python? ChatGPT might suggest Coursera right there in the moment when they're ready to learn. That's a hot lead. That's someone who's actually interested, not just scrolling past an ad, not just browsing. They're asking for help and your app shows up as the solution. This is conversational commerce. And it's the future. Instead of advertising to cold audiences, you're showing up when people actually need your service. That's powerful. Now, you might be wondering, how does this actually work? Don't worry, I'll keep it simple. The Apps SDK is built on something called the Model Context Protocol. 
That's MCP for short. Anthropic made this standard last year, and now OpenAI is using it. What MCP does is simple. It lets ChatGPT connect to other apps safely. It can read data from those apps. It can trigger actions in those apps, and it can show you interactive stuff from those apps, all while keeping your data secure. So when you use the Spotify app in ChatGPT, here's what happens. ChatGPT reads your conversation. It understands you want a playlist. It connects to Spotify using MCP. It tells Spotify what kind of playlist you want. Spotify makes the playlist and shows it to you right in ChatGPT, all in seconds. Here's something that blew my mind. These apps have different viewing modes. There's inline mode. That's when the app shows up right in your chat like a message. There's picture in picture mode. That's when a video or image stays at the top of your screen while you keep chatting below. And there's full screen mode. That's when the app takes over your whole screen. You choose which mode you want depending on what you're doing. If you're watching a Coursera video, you might want picture in picture so you can watch and take notes in ChatGPT at the same time. If you're designing something in Canva, you might want full screen so you can see all the details. The app adapts to what you need. Now let's talk about privacy. Because I know you're thinking about it. When you use an app for the first time, ChatGPT asks permission. It shows you what data will be shared. You have to say yes before anything happens. OpenAI says apps can only collect the minimum data they need, and they have to be transparent about it. Every app needs a privacy policy, and if an app breaks the rules, OpenAI can remove it. Later this year, they're adding even more privacy controls, so you can control exactly what data each app gets. This is important because people are worried about AI and privacy. OpenAI knows this, and they're building controls from the start. Here's what I find really interesting. OpenAI is positioning ChatGPT as a platform, not just a chatbot a platform like iOS, like Android, but for AI. Think about what that means. When the iPhone launched, it was just a phone. Then they added the App Store, and suddenly it became a platform. Developers built millions of apps, and the iPhone became essential. That's what's happening with ChatGPT right now. It started as a chatbot. Now it's becoming a platform where you do everything, work, learn, shop, create, all in one place, all through conversation. But here's what's coming next. OpenAI announced 11 more partners launching later this year. That includes DoorDash, Instacart, Uber, AllTrails, OpenTable, Target, Peloton, and more. Imagine ordering food through DoorDash and ChatGPT just by saying, order me a pizza, or booking a ride with Uber, or making dinner reservations with OpenTable, all in the chat, without opening any other apps. That's where we're heading. Now, I want to talk about what this means for you. If you're a developer, this is your moment. You can build apps for 800 million users. That's an audience bigger than almost any platform, and it's just starting. Early apps will have a massive advantage because there's no competition yet. If you move fast, you could be one of the first apps people discover. The Apps SDK is available now. You can start building today, test it in developer mode, and get ready to submit when they open applications. If you're a business owner, pay attention because your customers are on ChatGPT. 800 million of them every week. And they're about to start discovering services through conversation, not through search engines, not through app stores, through talking to AI. So ask yourself, how can your business show up in those conversations? Can you build an app? Can you partner with someone who can? Can you optimize your content so ChatGPT mentions you? This is like SEO all over again. But for AI, and the early movers will win. Want to learn how to make money with AI? Go to logicbuilder.ai. I'll show you exactly how to use these tools to build a business, save time, and get ahead of everyone else. Let me tell you about something else OpenAI announced. It's called Agent Kit. This is for building AI agents, not just apps. Agents that can work for you. They released ChatKit 2. That lets you embed ChatGPT into your own apps. And they made Codex generally available. That's their coding agent. Companies are already using it. Duolingo uses it. Cisco uses it. Usage grew 10 times since August. They're processing 40 trillion tokens in three weeks. That's insane. All of this is happening at the same time. OpenAI is building an entire ecosystem, and it's happening fast. This isn't just about ChatGPT getting better. This is about ChatGPT becoming the platform where everything happens. Here's what you need to do right now. First, if you're a developer, download the Apps SDK. Start building. Get familiar with the model context protocol. Test your ideas, because when submissions open, you want to be ready. Second, if you're a business owner, start thinking about how your service could work as a ChatGPT app. What problem does your business solve? How could ChatGPT help people solve that problem? And how could your app show up in that conversation? Third, 
If you're just someone who uses ChatGPT, start paying attention to these apps. Try them out, see how they work, because this is going to change how you use technology. And the sooner you get comfortable with it, the better. This is the biggest update to ChatGPT since it launched, and it changes everything. We're watching a new platform being born, and the people who move fast are going to win big. So that's the ChatGPT apps SDK update. 800 million users, open source tools, monetization, and a whole new way of discovering and using apps. If you're not paying attention to this, you're going to get left behind. Want to learn how to make money with AI? Go to logicbuilder.ai. I'll see you in the next one.